got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the trees. You like a getaway. Shoot with me. You like the summertime love. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life in a pop for the weekend. Girl, I said you're the one. Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. This time around, I'm taking you with me to Miami Swim Week. If you're not familiar with what it is, it's sort of our version of New York Fashion Week, but it's swimwear, resort wear. It's in Miami every year in July, the dead of summer. It's also our rainy season, so it's always very hot and humid. I checked the weather. It looks like we're gonna have some dry days over the weekend, so it should be perfect. It's always incredibly crowded, but it's such a great time, and I've gone every single year since we moved to Miami, and it gets better every single year. Last year, of course, they had to change things up due to COVID. I think they maybe had a couple of virtual shows. I'm not sure. It was basically canceled, but it's back this year. It's bigger and better than ever. Last night, I attended the kickoff party, which was a lot of fun down on South Beach. It's so great seeing everybody out and about kind of back to normal. Gives you an excuse to dress up, go shopping, pick up some outfits, and meet up with your girlfriends. My schedule is very intense over the next couple of days. I have a packed lineup. I got invites to all of the fashion shows I was looking forward to seeing, which is great. Luli Fama, Sports Illustrated, so many great shows. They're usually back-to-back. -back. Some of them are in different locations, so I may not be able to make it to all of them, but I'm going to do my best to make it to every single show. And of course, I'm going to take you with me, show you all of the beauty essentials, the outfits of the day, and show you a little bit of behind the scenes for all of the fashion shows. Right now, I need to finish getting ready. I'm always running late during swim week. I pulled out a bunch of tropical outfits and I hung them already on my clothing rack. So I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. I don't think I'm gonna do anything special with my hair. I did beach waves this week because I knew swim week was coming up. It's going to be so hot and humid in the tent. I feel like it would be a complete waste to try to straighten or curl my hair. It's just going to become a bit of a mess anyway. So I'm gonna finish my makeup, get dressed, and then we'll hit the road. I'm feeling myself I just hit the husband like I'm posted on the shelf Cha-cha, samba Dancing like a contest Sicko with the moves I I made it down to the beach. Last year, this is where they set up the Pareso tent at the Collins Park, but this year they set it up across the street at the W Hotel. So I'm just walking over now. It looks huge and so beautiful. I think I jinxed myself with the weather. I said it looked really nice. But as you can see behind me, we have some storm clouds coming in. So fingers crossed, it doesn't rain. The only thing we have covering our heads is a tent.
John Boss Entertainment N.E.A.C.O. J.X. Elio Feliciano The Mac of the Arts We're in the building, baby Latino gang Un ponte entra Como que dice Un ponte entra I'm back. It is day two of the fashion shows. The last 48 hours have been kind of crazy, which is typical of Miami Swim Week. It's one of the things I dislike about it is that it is just so busy. It's kind of go, go, go. You don't have any time to just breathe. <laughs> so I spent the day finishing a Sephora Squad campaign. I also had to finish editing a video, which just went live. So I'm kind of watching for comments, trying to be as interactive as possible. Always a lot of multitasking during these crazy fashion weeks. I think there's only one show tonight, but the weather changed and it looks like we might get some rain over the weekend, so I want to take advantage of what might be the last dry day and show you guys the exterior, kind of the location, scout the location a little bit, show you guys the tent inside, outside the tent. I got a haircut this morning, bright and early at 8 a.m. at IGK. She did an incredible job. I go to Michelle for my color, but I go to Laura for all of my cuts and styles. In case anybody's based in South Florida, she's the sweetest and I love her styles because they will last an entire week. She does such an incredible job. So as always with events during the week, I'm rushing to get ready, but at least I don't have to touch my hair. It's already perfect. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I'm undecided. I'll have to visit my clothing rack, pick out some accessory shoes and all that. But I am going to share all of the products I use as I get ready. I made myself a smoothie. This is dinner. One of the other things I don't like about swim week is that there is not enough time to eat a full meal sometimes. It looks disgusting, but it tastes really good. Banana, spinach, chia seeds, flax seeds, what else? Some protein, peanut butter. The cocoa powder is what makes it look disgusting, <laughs> but it tastes like a chocolate milkshake and this is all I had time for. I'm back. I filled in my eyebrows. I did mascara and eyeliner. I'm using a new eyeliner. This is the By Terry Crayon Cole, terribly in the shade Brown Secret. I really like it. It's very soft, so I like to apply it with this brush. This is a 710 Bedelium. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This is from Camera Ready Cosmetics, so this is perfect. It has this really fine point. Can you see that? It's perfect for eyeliner, so I actually use this and this and that's how I get the little inner wing and then the outer wing and I love this chocolatey brown because it looks a lot softer than black but you can build it up and make it really dark so I love that I use it in the waterline and outside Gucci mascara of course what else eyebrows pretty standard situation there went in with my benefit brow pencil and then this Anastasia brow freeze and my makeup is basically done I might highlight the brow bone inner corner of the eye and then throw on a lipstick I want to figure out what I'm going to wear first I have my accessories on I'm dressed the uber is almost here and since I am going full Austin Powers you'll understand what I mean when I show you the complete look I'm going to wear my Do Not Disturb perfume tonight since this was inspired by Studio 54. Kind of have a Studio 54 Austin Powers theme going on. Since the show is Opali, it's more of a fun, 
I don't know, maybe fast fashion affordable brand. I figured I would go bold and colorful for today. Just made it down to the beach. We had no traffic getting down here, which was really nice since it is a Friday night. There is a huge line already waiting outside of the tent, even though the show isn't until a couple hours. Usually they start really late, so we have plenty of time to make it inside. I'm going to do a little walk around, show you the exterior where the tent is and everything. Yesterday it looked like it was going to rain, but it didn't. Tonight, it doesn't look like it's going to rain at all, but it feels so humid, it's ridiculous. Luckily, we have that nice cool breeze again, so it's not too hot. Just a little humid, not a big deal. Now 3.15 on Saturday, I have not had a chance to film a video, let alone film and edit a YouTube video, so fingers crossed I'll be able to get that done tomorrow. I haven't been nearly as productive as I wanted to be, but I did start getting ready. So I filmed a makeup reel, what started out as a swim, kind of poolside, really light, fresh-faced makeup look, kind of turned full glam, but that's okay. This is sort of the reality of swim week makeup anyhow not really poolside makeup, pool party makeup. It is Miami after all, so it's a little bit extra, but this is the finished look, and I am very happy with the way everything came together. I used a couple different products today than I have been using, so I'm gonna quickly show you. I pulled out this Natasha Denona Zendo palette. I haven't really touched this much since I purchased it, so I'm really making a concerted effort to pull this out of the drawer and play around with it. I wanted to do something Kind of soft and peachy. Again, I started out as doing a really soft makeup look, so this palette has a lot of great peaches. That's basically all I use from this palette. I need to play around with those blues. I just thought it was so pretty. That's what drew me to this palette to begin with. I thought these colors, this color story, kind of looked very Miami. It's very pretty. Something I started using, I think yesterday, maybe the day before, is this Huda Beauty Powder. This is the Banana Bread Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. It has a very strong fragrance, if you're familiar with this. It kind of knocks your socks off. More fragrance than even some of my Guerlain products. It's really strong. But I really like this. I didn't notice a huge difference, but my, my makeup has lasted really well the last couple of days that I've been out in the humidity and a girlfriend of mine, Karen, said, your makeup looks incredible. It's just flawless and so smooth and she kept going on about how great my makeup looked last night. So I started thinking to myself, still used the Voyeuristic Vixen palette. I'm using all of the same products. What did I do different? And this was the difference. 
So I used it again today and I do think it makes the under eye area look very smooth. It's such a finely milled powder. And I've used it before and I don't remember having any strong thoughts or feelings one way or another about it. I kind of just thought it set the makeup really nicely but didn't think twice so that's why I kind of threw it back in the drawer. But this is going to the top drawer now. I did recently finish a setting powder which is why I pulled this out to begin with. But I like it. I'm impressed. It's nice when you can tell a difference, but when other people who see you regularly can see a difference in your makeup, then you know you're doing something right. So this has been huge during Swim Week. I started out with the glow screen. I thought we were gonna be out in the afternoon, kind of overcast, potentially going to rain, so I don't really think I'm going to be exposed to sun today, but I figured I'd start with sun protection. I love this stuff. It's a great makeup primer, especially over the summer. The glow screen, it has SPF 40 from Super Goop. This was my primer for the day. I changed up my foundation instead of using the NARS Soft Matte, which I've been using for probably the last couple of months. I'm almost done with it. Today, I went in with the Chanel Le Beige foundation. I wanted something a bit lighter, a bit glowier. And then I finished my makeup using this brand new Shansakai Orange Flower Water. They sent this to me complimentary in the cutest bag. I meant to take it with me. It's actually right down there. I meant to take that last night because it's perfect for swim week. But this smells really incredible. It was just very refreshing. So I used this to set the makeup look. And I am very happy with the way it turned out. This is the little bag Shantikai sent over. Isn't this so cute? So it came with some makeup products. I love little straw bags like this and the little pom-poms. It would have been so cute with my outfit last night, this little knit set. Oh, I can't believe I forgot it. But I will absolutely get use out of this. I might take it with me tonight, but we'll see. Definitely want to take some photos with it. So that came with the orange water, the orange flower water. I thought I was so organized hanging all of my tropical outfits and all of my looks on my clothing rack. I will clean this room. I will get everything nice and organized and then it doesn't take long for things to kind of fall apart on me. So this is a huge growing pile. I have nowhere else to put this stuff so I just throw it on the floor. This is all PR that I've received over the last probably two weeks or so. And I've held on to it because I want to go through and show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to do a separate PR haul. I might end this vlog the same way I ended my last vlog and just kind of go through it and show you guys everything. So there's more Shantikai makeup that they sent over. A lot of great stuff here. A question I've been asked about swim week and you guys might be wondering the same is how I get invited to shows and events because the entire week it's not just fashion shows. There are different pop-up events, vendors will have different events, so all of the hotels get involved and there's always something going on. A lot of luncheons, it's a lot of fashion industry people, a lot of boutique owners, buyers, vendors, of course a lot of brands will come, but it's a lot of people who work in on the business side of fashion. Since there are a lot of runway shows that are part of Swim Week, all of the PR companies will send out invites to local influencers. Sometimes they'll even fly out really big influencers, people with millions of followers from New York, Puerto Rico, California, definitely, Australia, just the, the globe trotters. <laughs> Sometimes you'll see some of the really big influencers. Rocky Barnes has been here, especially the ones who are launching their own brands will come to Swim Week because they have this captive audience of local Miami bloggers. And that way they fill all of the seats, they get a lot of buzz and excitement. So it's a packed house and you know people invite their friends and of course you have all of the models. A lot of them I think are probably based in Miami. Their friends and family and everybody that they invite to the shows. It's a lot. Hair people, makeup people, all everybody behind the scenes. It's a huge production just for the shows but that's really kind of one side of the entire week. It's a great way to network, get to meet other people within the fashion industry, especially if you want to work in fashion or you want to connect with brands. So I always recommend to people to bring business cards. This year I'm really just going for fun, but in years past I've gone with more of a business mindset.
Since it's my fourth or fifth swim week, I get a lot of the invites automatically, but you can apply to attend with Parezo on their website. So if you work in media, if you have a boutique, if you are a future vendor, you can sign up on their website, you can register, let them know why you want to why you want to attend. And then if you're approved, they'll send out your information to all of the brands who are showing. It's pretty cool. It's not nearly as exclusive as it might seem. A lot of people attend, maybe not the fashion shows, but the luncheons, the pop-up shops, the boutiques. There's a ton of stuff that you can go to if you happen to be in South Florida or if you just love fashion. And the brands do a great job with diversity. In years past, depending on the show, there have been pregnant models, a breastfeeding model walked, I think, a couple years ago for Sports Illustrated. All different ethnicities, backgrounds, different levels of coverage, different body shapes and sizes. Some are tall, some are shorter. You just see it all and it really just feels like a celebration of all women because everybody is represented. Now, in most of the shows, you will see really fit looking women. They're beautiful, but not everybody looks the same. And I think that's really special. And for me, it's really empowering to see everybody walking together. Just a nice reminder that we all are different and unique and nobody looks like the photos that you see in magazines that just doesn't exist in reality. It's one of the reasons why I always look forward to swim week every single year, and I try to go to as many of the fashion shows as possible, just to soak up the energy. you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you jealous jealous i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you jealous jealous i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you jealous jealous i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you jealous jealous i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you jealous jealous i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you jealous jealous i'm gonna make you jealous i'm gonna i'm gonna make you
day of swim week today is sunday the last day of fashion shows pop-up events lounges luncheons you name it it all ends today which is sort of sad this week always flies by so quickly but i can't believe it i feel like i've spent so much time kind of mentally preparing for swim week and now it's the last day and i'm sitting down to get ready for the very last time i am pretty exhausted my feet are sore they're definitely happy it's the last day <sighs> feeling a little dehydrated so i have my bottle of water. This is the giant glass bottle that I use every single day. I fill it up with water from the Brita filter and I squeeze a fresh lemon in there. That's why it looks a little bit cloudy and it makes it taste really good actually. I never used to be one of those lemon water drinkers until probably a couple months now and I love it. I can tell a huge difference in my energy level, my skin, my mood, everything. It's probably not directly related. It probably has more to do with my energy level than anything else, but I feel happier whenever I drink my water. And if I skip a day, I just have a bad day mentally. Unfortunately, we didn't make it to all of the shows last night. I knew it was going to be so hectic because the three big shows were on the same night in different locations. I thought it might be possible they would hold the later shows to wait for the previous shows to end but they didn't, so there was Boohoo at the Versace Mansion, which I wasn't really that interested in seeing the show from Boohoo. I love the venue, but I've attended events there in the past. I actually stayed overnight there with my husband a couple years ago. It's beautiful, just an incredible venue, and I knew that it would be so popular because people just love to go there. It is a restaurant, so you can go anytime if you really wanna see it something fun to do in Miami. So we skipped Boohoo. I love Luli Fama. They're probably one of my favorite swimwear brands that come to Swim Week. I have a couple bikinis from them. So that was the show I was most excited to see. And that was at the Parezo tent. So it was a little bit easier to navigate. The shows always run so late. So it started probably 45 minutes late which pushed us back too far to make it to Sports Illustrated, which was at the Mondrian Hotel, which is probably 10, 10 minute Uber drive. We wouldn't have really been able to walk and we would have been running down the street. I heard that show was so packed they stopped letting people in. So I'm grateful that we didn't even attempt to make it to this show. We have a, a group thread. There's a chain of all of us who are attending the events and we're all kind of keeping everybody in the loop of what show is running late? Where are you going to be here? Okay, we're gonna head there next. So I had, eyes and ears in all of the different shows to know what was going on. So we, unfortunately we had to miss all of the other big shows but I was happy because I got to see the one show I was most excited to see. And we were second row. It was incredible. The energy is amazing. The swimwear line is always incredible. They sell Luli Fama at Revolve. Nordstrom carries the brand. You can find them all over the place but it's a Miami based swimwear brand. And then tonight, there are two shows I'm most excited to see. I think there are four total. I think we're gonna skip the first one. So I might make it to three. Probably we'll make it to two tonight and then that will end the week. Nia Lynn from Nicole Williams is showing and Maji. Those are always, well, Nia Lynn is new, but Maji is always one of the bigger shows. So that should be fun. And it's at the Plymouth Hotel, so it's a different venue, but it's close enough to the Parezo tent that we should be able to make it. Suavecito, suavecito. Pasa la botella. 
Bésame sin querer, aunque sea única vez Y tú y yo no puede ser, vamos a pasarla bien Por última vez Quiero estar contigo un poquito, un poquito Tu cuerpo y el mío pegadito, pegadito Si jugas conmigo, cuidadito, cuidadito Vamos con el ritmo suavecito, suavecito Yo quiero estar contigo un poquito, un poquito Tu cuerpo y el mío pegadito, pegadito Si jugas conmigo, cuidadito, cuidadito Vamos con el ritmo suavecito, suavecito We saw the Nia Lynn show, we were able to make it to two shows, but then we just didn't want to risk standing out in the rain again, so we came to the W, we're going to have a final meal. Both of us are starving. Yesterday we did have a small break, we were able to grab some decent food, but this will truly be the first meal meal that I've had since Tuesday. It's pretty crazy. 